All right, guys, we saw what a Magnum versus a Super Magnum 177 will do to water bottles. We saw the results from that. What if we used to do 25 cal Super Magnum versus PCP? It's the Hot Sound 125, 25 caliber. This is the Umarex Origin. It's at... It's a little below. Let's go around this way so you see the gauge correctly. It's at about, what, 2600 PSI. That would be plenty. We're going to use, because we used hollow points last time, we'll use hollow points this time. I am going to shoot this once at nothing to get the pellet out of it because I don't know if that's uh, H&N Pro Magnum in it or not. But, uh,. We've got our six cans or six uh, water bottles here again. And I'm going to basically do the same thing I did with the uh, Gamma Magnum and uh, Gamma Magnum and the uh, Gamma Silent Cat. This is the uh, 125. Got a nice explosion out of the bottles. I see holes through two for sure. All the bottles go. No hole in that one, no hole in that one. There is a hole in this one. One, two, three, four. All right, these two are the ones that they hit. No hole in the third. So, same as the 177, the water stops it very nicely. And for some reason, I don't I don't know why. Well, it started to. This must have been the front bottle. I can see a crack in it here where it started to blow the bottom out. Not this one. I've got a clean entry. Clean exit. Not quite as clean an entry, not quite as clean and exit no telling where the pellet is but while the 127 super magnum did this the 25 did not i'm not sure what the difference is there it definitely cracked this one open it almost did it but let's move on put a couple more bottles up here let's move on to the origin 25 cal pcp I'm just going to single load this guy instead of using the magazine. I do not have the single load tray, so that makes this a lot harder to do. But I've done it before. I know I will get it in there. There we go. All right, so here's going to be the Umarex Origin, 25 cal, 2600 PSI. And bottle everywhere. One, two, three, four. All right, it knocked these two bottles off into the truck, but they got no holes in them. No hole in that one. 
But these three, different story. Once again, do not catch the pellet. No hole in none of them, right? Yep, no hole in the other three. So I went through three. Uh, I'm sure the pellets ain't far, but try to see these pellets on the ground or something. It's not likely going to happen. It blew the uh, strips off of four of them. Now let's see here. We've got entrance and exit, no hole in the bottom. By God, there's one of the pellets right there. Uh, no telling which rifle that come out of, but it went through three, either two or three of the bottles. And then landed up here on the chain by by the uh, camera at the bed of the truck. You can see the uh, so I got that in the right place. Yeah, you can see the uh, lands and grooves marks. Here we have clean entrance and exit without blowing the bottom out. Another clean. This be the first one. It hit a tore a slightly bigger hole. I don't know this could have been the last one because it tore a slightly bigger hole was moving slower. But yeah, I mean just clean entrances and exits. So why would that be, guys? Why do you think? Tell me in the comments. Why would the 177 with way less foot pounds of energy blow the bottoms out the bottles and uh, 25 calibers with much more energy not well, anyhow this has been another North Florida Air Gunner video don't forget like subscribe thumbs up share with your friends leave some comments what do you think what do you think I've got seven air rifles now. Well, one broke, so six. The uh, Crossman Shockwave, somebody uh, bent the barrel for a second time, and I tried to re-straighten it like I did the first time, and it spun loose in the breech, so now the barrel twists in the rifle. Uh, so it's going to become a parts rifle now. Um, the uh, action and all is fully functional in it, but... If the barrel's going to rotate in the breech, it'll never be accurate, so it's no good for nothing anymore. Yeah, uh, like I said, let me know what you guys think, and we'll catch you next time around. North Florida Air Gunner, out.